Hey everybody, today I'm getting back on track with BBBE. I'm doing a meal prep. I'm back from Alberta and ready to go. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com. I've lost over 125 pounds doing keto, ketovore, you know, some carnivore. Um, just kind of uh, trying to find my way in this journey. And uh, I hope you're going to come along with me, check out some of my other videos and my website, subscribe to my channel. Um, if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to do a bunch of meal prep for you. Okay, I got a lot going on here in the kitchen today. Um, I'm trying to beat the heat wave. We have a big heat wave moving in tomorrow. It's going to be warm today, but tomorrow it's going to start being uh, over 30 degrees Celsius, with Tuesday being the hottest day, I think. Um, but we're going to be up into the mid 30s here where I live. That is hot. I'll put the <laughs> Fahrenheit down <laughs> on the screen because I can't do that calculation in my head. So getting the oven used today. So today I'm making some special things that I have ne not made before um, because while I was in Alberta, as some of you know, I dropped in to see my good friend and fellow keto YouTuber, Janet Greta. I'm going to put the link to her channel below so that you can check her out and and subscribe to her as well. But when I was there, she had me trying all kinds of meats that I did not try before. What an eye opener. She made some grilled tomahawk elk steaks. They were so good. I mean, it was restaurant quality. Nothing gamey about anything I ate there. I also had deer steaks and I had moose meat. I mean, never in my life. Um, all of it was delicious. She sent me home with some things. So uh, part of my meal prep, I've got some deer sausage here. This is breakfast sausage. So uh, I just want to show you how, how dark those are. Um, I mean, that's, that's crazy. So I'm, I'm going to fry these up, uh, you know, as part of the meal prep. As usual, in my meal prep, since I've got the oven going, because um, I'm, I'm going to tell you what else I'm going to put in the oven, but I've got a couple of trays of bacon. So I just lay them out on parchment paper, and I put them in the oven, let them go until they're uh, crispy. I mean, everyone's got, you know... I don't want to say how long because everyone has got their favorite level of crispiness and mine is super crisp. Most of the fat, pretty much all the fat rendered off. The fat is crispy. That's the way I like it. So my oven time might be different from yours. And I also vary it depending on what else I'm making. I think today it'll be 375 degrees because I am also making a meatloaf. Now, what this is, uh, this Janet Greta also sent me home with this. Look how dark this is. This is ground venison. I believe it's made from deer. And I am going to make meatloaf with this. I'm pretty excited about that. So, again, I'm winging it. I've never done it, um, but let's get going on that. Um, so what, what I've decided to do because this looks extremely lean, and I've read that venison um, is very lean, I'm, I've chopped up four pieces of bacon. I've just chopped it up, you know, as small as I could, and I'm going to put that in there. Uh, we're just adding some fat, and of course bacon flavor. Can never go wrong with bacon flavor. I'm also going to put two eggs in here. You can add whatever seasonings you like. I don't have a lot of seasonings anymore, but I do have these Redmond's. I have onion salt and, oh, I have this one is seasoned salt. So I'm going to put, uh, I, I think I'm gonna put a teaspoon of each in this, or maybe, maybe half a teaspoon. I'm gonna put half a teaspoon, because I think, I can always salt it more later. Uh, you know, if you put in too much, you can't take that away. But if you uh, 
Don't put in enough, you can always add more. And the bacon is salty. Got my oven set to 350. Actually, I want to set it to 375, so I'll be right back. Okay, so we'll let that, uh, that go. And I'm going to put half a teaspoon of the seasoning salt in. I really love these Redmond's salts. I bought the Trio. I don't know if you can get this, the Trio on Amazon.com, but I'll check and put the link below. But it was a Trio. It came with uh, one garlic salt, one onion salt, and one seasoning salt. So these are these two anyways. <clears throat> put that below. And the final ingredient that I'm going to add is pork rind crumbs. Now these are the store-bought ones. I got those from Amazon. Normally I make my own pork rind crumbs. So, and, and I actually have a video uh, where I made them. So there's, I have three different ways to make them in there. So I'm, I, but I need to use these up. So I'm going to use this today. I'll link the video below. Cause you can get those giant bins of uh, pork rinds from Costco. And uh, that's what I usually get. And I grind up a bunch of my own pork rinds. Um, some, like if you don't, if you can't do pork uh, for whatever reason, you could do the same thing with chicken skins. You could, uh, you know, um, make your own crispy chicken skins and grind them up. Or you could use Parmesan cheese or some keto bread crumbs, you know, whatever. I'm trying to be mostly, mostly meat based here. So um, I don't use a lot of those keto, keto breads and things like that. Um, I don't like the almond flour in them for one thing or any type of flour. Okay, so that's a cup and the oven is ready. Now I'm going to mix all this together. I will use my hands in a moment. My hands are freshly washed but I just want to get it kind of incorporated in there, hoping I've added enough of the eggs. I need to get my hands in there to mix this up properly. Oh, squishy. This is always fun. If you don't like the feel of it, then put on some of those gloves. I have those, uh, those gloves, but honestly, there's nothing like getting your hands in there. Then you can really feel if everything is mixing in and you're mixing in your love. So <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good stuff, I can tell. I'm mostly trying to incorporate the bacon evenly. And I don't know if I mentioned or not, but it was four slices of bacon that I had put in there. I think that's about the best I can do. So I'm just going to wash my hands, get all this uh, sticky stuff off, and uh, then we're going to put it in the oven with the uh, trays of bacon. And I'm going to fry up the deer sausage, the breakfast sausage. And, uh, and then tell you a little bit about my trip. Um, but it's all, you know, whatever, if you're, if you're keto or, or whatever spices you would like to put in, go ahead and do that. Okay, so I have a pan here. I'm using this pan that has the, um, it's got an insert. So it's a regular sized loaf pan. I think it's Wilton, yeah. It has an insert with holes in it. That way the juices run out. And if you get enough juices, you can actually um, mix that up and make a gravy with it. And I've done that before with turkey meatloaf. That was thanks to a uh, suggestion from Kate in my Facebook group who, she's an amazing cook and I got that idea from her. So I'm gonna see, like I don't know how much fat is going to render off this and how, how I've never cooked with venison before, um, but the bacon should probably help that along. I, I don't know. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, and now I'm just going to get all this in here and pat it down. I think it's going to be delicious. Because everything I tried over at Janet Greta's was delicious. They have their, Janet and her husband Jimmy, they hunt and they have their own 
kind of process they use for uh, butchering the meat and, and, and all that. And the end result is, I don't know what all their secrets are, but the end result is that the meat does not taste gamey. I've always, I always had a little bit of hesitation to try venison because I had heard about that gaminess and uh, none, none whatsoever. It was awesome. Okay, now we have our loaf. It's going to go in and uh, I think it's going to go in for about an hour, but I'll see. I'll test it later. Okay, and I'm also going to put the uh, bacon in and, uh, and, and I'm gonna be right back just to tell you a little bit about my trip to Alberta and meeting Janet Greta. Um, I am gonna do a, probably another video later. Uh, oh, there's Teddy. Teddy! Okay, uh, I've got the oven set for an hour at 375, um, but I'll be checking the bacon before then. All right, now for the sausages, I'm just gonna fry them in this pan uh, with some fat. Um, by the way, Janet gave me a jar of uh, her rendered pork fat because they butchered a pig, um, which I think is amazing. I mean, this stuff is like gold. I have this here, this is, this is bacon fat that I've just poured off. When we get these heat waves, I do, when I'm rendering any of my of the fat from what I'm cooking, I keep it in the fridge in a jar rather than my bacon keeper, just because it gets so hot in here. And last year during the summer heat waves, uh, mine went rancid and I don't want that to happen again. This is like gold because this is a pound of butter, it is, between $6.99 and $8.99, depending on where you shop around here, this is free. Uh, I mean, I made bacon, I poured it off, and uh, that's what I'm going to cook my uh, sausages in. Oh, I've been away from my kitchen for two weeks, and now I don't know where anything is again. <laughs> Opening up the wrong cupboard. So I'm gonna, you know, just put like a like a big spoonful in. If I have to add more, I can always add more. So I'm just going to uh, run over to the stove, fry these up, um, and, then, and then we'll try one when they're done. We have sausages. Oh yes. Okay. So I'm going to grab one. I already did try one a, a minute ago and I like it. I mean, it's definitely, you know, different than a pork sausage. I would say it almost um, has a bit of, Almost like lamb, like a cross between lamb and beef, I think. And Greta, if you're watching, uh, some of these are yours. That's my sister, Greta. She, uh, Janet, Greta gave each of us, me and my sister, Greta, a package of the sausages. Uh, but Greta wasn't sure if her boyfriend was going to like it or not so she told me to cook them and save her some so um if you're watching sister <laughs> i'm gonna eat them all if you don't come over soon <laughs> they're nicely seasoned i mean that would be whatever i don't know what janet greta put in these um but yeah they taste nicely seasoned um i will eat these this week uh, for those of you who are doing bbbe you may not realize but Deer and elk um, are ruminants, uh, and so they are part of uh, BBBE. They fall under the beef slash ruminant category of the BBBE acronym. So you can eat this. I will be eating this. Yum, yum, yum. Be really good with some eggs. So 
Thank you again, Janet Greta. Uh, these, are, these are really good. I'll be enjoying these this week. Um, I am going to talk about my Alberta trip and uh, visiting with her a little bit more, um, at, uh, not only today, but on my next video. Um, so uh, I'll be back in the next segment. Teddy's, Teddy's waiting for his share, so I will, uh, I'm going to give him a little bite. Would you like to try some? You're such a good doggy. Yum. Is that good? That's right. There you go. Good dog. Okay, Teddy approves. Well, as most of you know, I'm back from Alberta and um, uh, today is getting back on track day. Uh, I, I, I was pretty good for the majority of the two weeks um, with keto. Um, you know, I had, uh, I had lots of aunties to deal with and lots of cousins. And when those aunties get hold, <laughs> sometimes it's, it's not so easy. Not as easy as I was hoping it would be. So I did my best. I mean, there was, I made compromises. Um, you know, I, I, I made decisions that the next day I was going, ah, I could have done that better. Or I, you know, could have done this instead of that. Um, there's always, there's always that. Um, but you know what? Today's a new day. I'm letting it go. And uh, I've got lots of uh, meat here to, to have. So that's all good. Um, I went with, for those of you who are new and you may not know, but I've been away for two weeks. I should have started with that, but I've been away with, for two weeks in Alberta visiting my aunties and my one uncle and cousins that I have not seen in 30, 40 years for, for most of them. And, uh, it, it, you know, the purpose of the visit was um, my mom passed away in, in March and because because of COVID restrictions and because of the age of the majority of my mom's family, um, we just weren't able to uh, get together, you know, to have a funeral or anything like that. So my sister and I made the decision to do the road trip, the same road trip that my parents always used to do when we were kids, and visit them all. And, and uh, we did, and it was really good. It was really good to reconnect and it provided some closure for us and probably for them as well um, because they were not able to, to come down. So, um, so that was all uh, good. Um, and then I visited towards the end of the trip, uh, Janet Greta, uh, as I already mentioned, uh, you know, she, she gave me some of this meat that I'm cooking today. And, you know, I, I just have to say that for those of you who follow her, what you see on YouTube with her and her husband Jimmy and her family is what you get in real life. Um, she's she's honest and she's uh, inspiring and and generous. I mean, they they you know gave us beds to sleep in. They fed us. You know, um, she she took us sightseeing. I was not expecting that. We went to see the world's largest teepee in Medicine Hat. And uh, so, uh, you know, that, that was a lot of fun. Janet, Greta, you may have the world's largest teepee in Medicine Hat, but we have the world's largest truck <laughs> in Sparwood. And uh, she took us to the uh, Medalto Pottery Factory in Medicine Hat, which I had no idea what it was or what they did there, but was really glad that I went. And, uh, and we really did have, have a good time. Got to meet uh, her dogs, Aries. Got to meet her dogs and, um, uh, you know, <laughs> her dog Rosie. Um, really liked whatever it was I had in my cooler and and that was fun and and Rosie's a little scamp um, so uh, yeah Rosie's very cute Aries Aries also adorable and met her daughter Zoe and uh, the cat Ivy and the two chickens I think it's Yoke and Sunshine hey 
So when you pick her up, okay. I'll put her down and then you can pick her up and put her. So just grab her because her wings are there. Just gently grab her and put her down. Oh, her my sister is picking up Janet Greta's chicken. <laughs> Rosie. No, no, this is yolk. This is yolk. Oh, yolk. This yeah. is yolk. Yolk. Oh, Thank my you. goodness. Yeah. And, and then these the other, are laying here? Yeah. They haven't laid for a while, so I don't know if the weather maybe because it's too hot. But then Sunshine is a little skittish because we've had yolk since she was a couple days old. But Sunshine, pretty we got, there she is. This is Sunshine over Sunshine, here? Sunshine, we got when she was about six months old. So she, they don't peck, but she's just, whenever you go near her, she runs. But Yoke, like, literally comes oh, right yeah. to you. Hi, Yoke. Are you a good girl? Are you a good girl? Come here. <laughs> and then, yeah, like, she won't peck you or nothing. You can, you know, touch right. her beak and everything like wow. that. And she's a good girl. Aren't you? I hope I remember those names correctly. Um, so all in all, it, it was it was a good visit, and and I left just feeling kind of inspired by her to get back on track, um, and uh, just you know I mean like her like her and I have both lost over 100 pounds doing keto, and. And I'm not saying that someone who loses over 100 pounds is any different from someone who only needs to lose, say, 20 pounds. The struggle is real and hard no matter how much you have to lose. I mean, I, I know a woman at work who struggles with 15 pounds all the time and it's very painful for her. So I, I understand that. But I think when, you're, when you've been 100, more than 100 pounds overweight, overweight there's struggles there that that you know we we feel and and we've done, and and so I really felt a kinship with her that she understood where I had been in the beginning and my journey, and I understand where she was and her journey, and we understand each other as far as that that journey never ends and that you know, there's going to be good times, there's going to be bad times. And what measures us as people is how we just keep going through those bad times to get back to the good times. And that is what life is all about, isn't it? So it was just a reaffirmation of that, that, that I got from her and so happy that we got to connect and meet in real life. Okay, so the meatloaf, I tested it with my uh, thermometer after an hour. And to be honest, um, there's nothing on here for what the, uh, for venison. But it was up to 180, so I figured that's got to be well done enough because they've got uh, well done pork is 170 and everything else is lower than that for well done. So I'm going to go with it. And so I've been letting it sit here for 10 minutes or so to cool, and I'm just gonna grab a spatula to take it out and see how it looks. And more importantly, how it tastes. Got lots of juice down there too. Okay, so there is the meatloaf. Um, so I do have, it's still a little bit warm, but uh, I do have a fair bit of, like I could, you know, make some gravy or something out of this. So we'll see. I haven't uh, figured that out. Oh, sadly, I put it on my glove. At least they're washable. All right, I need to get myself a knife. Let's see how this is. I'm gonna, yeah, Teddy's waiting anxiously as well. Ooh, look at that. Okay. And that's really good. I'm glad I put the bacon in there because I think it might be too lean. Um, sorry, Teddy was making a little noise down here. Um, it it might have been too um, uh, too meaty. You know what I mean? Oh, Pippi's whining now. Okay, you guys are gonna get a piece. Just hang on. Um, so yeah, it's, it's good. I probably could have added a little more salt to it. Um, but <clears throat> other than that, I, I don't think I would change anything. And uh, I'm going to be enjoying this all week. 
um, while I'm getting back to my BBBE. And uh, I, I, yeah, I would definitely make this again. And in fact, my sister has got a package of this meat as well. So I'll um, show her how to make this and, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll take it from there. So um, what have I got for the week? I've got lots of bacon here. It's going to be a really busy week for me because I've been away for two weeks. So I've got some, uh, some bacon to eat over the next few days. I've got the venison sausage. I have lots of steaks in my freezer. Um, so I'm all set. I'm all set for some prepared food as well as food that I can, you know, throw on the grill. Although we're having that heat wave, so don't know if I want to grill outside. I'll probably use my Ninja uh, grill. And, uh, uh, but yeah, it's going to be nice to have some stuff already, already made. We've got, uh, I think, I think on Tuesday, it's going to be 35 or 36. I was reading. That's pretty hot for here. I will see you guys on the next video. Oh, they were freshly groomed too. You guys look at the camera so everyone can see how cute you look. Okay, there, that's yours. You gonna lay down? Yep. <laughs> oh, I was going to put in, I'm not gonna do it now. I was going to put in some, uh, I have some organic chopped onion, but I'm gonna leave it. Uh, it. It's too late, I've done my, it's not too late, but I don't wanna do any more of this mixing, so. No, did I say that right? Aries? I think, nah. Aries. I think his name is Aries. Scene 3A, Mark. Mark Smack. <laughs> or here in BC, we, we call it the, the South, the Southwest Coast because um, we're in Canada. Cut all that out. Nobody needs to know. Nobody cares. <laughs>